Everything on this video is found on a public domain in the full disclaimers down below. Hey, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. I wish you lots of love and many blessings. I knew this would catch up with her. Why would she even have to be testifying in Uncle's case? That wouldn't even be a thing had she not been involved. Check it out. But according to a former royal aide, she would never testify. That wouldn't do her brand well at all. But guess what? It's not up to her. And that same royal aide said if she went ahead and testified in the court case, it would forever, forever ruin the relationship between Harry and the family. She would never be back in the family. Well, I don't think there's a chance for her to be back in the family at all as it is. However, I want to know what does she know, what do they know that she knows that they want her to testify. I knew this would hit the fan. I knew this would all come out, and here it goes. We knew she was a yacht girl from the get-go. Okay, everybody found out she was. And we know that she has had some sort of a relationship with the uncle. I believe that in my heart. And even Sarah is questioning why she even defended them to begin with. Sarah's always backed Megan and, and Harry, you know. But now she's questioning what's going on here. Why are they dragging her name into this case? What does she know that nobody else does about the uncle that she needs to testify? I can't wait to see how far this goes, you guys. We knew it was going to happen. And they're saying that her dad is now coming out telling the son that his daughter should speak to law enforcement in the States if she knows anything about Prince Andrew's alleged, you know, what he's done. She has no right to refuse to do so, he added. He said, I understand that Andrew's reputation is damaging to the royal family, but if she knows anything and has been involved in any way, she needs to speak out and speak out now. Her dad even knows she's guilty of this stuff running with these people. I am curious if Harry is wondering why they're trying to get her to testify. Harry should question her unless he already knows what happened between them. I think that's how she slithered into the family. It's through the uncle, if you know what I mean. Anyway, now this memoir is hanging over the queen's head. Harry's making huge threats. He's going to spill all sorts of secrets about his granddad, his dad, and the queen. You would think that he would write a memoir that included things where he sat down with these, you know, aristocratic people, these presidents, their wives. You would think it would be something like that. Or how great his life was, but it's going to be chocked full of family secrets. It's really going to catch up to the royal family, and they don't need that right now. And the queen is desperately trying to stop him from going forward with this. But you know what? He's doing what Megan says to do, and what she says is what goes. So that's just the way it happens. Well, I hope he feels the same way when a good friend of mine brought up an excellent point. We have to remember that Megan owns that mansion. You guys, when they paid for that, supposedly, they bought that and put it in her name. So what do you think is going to happen? So they're going to sell that, get all of that money, because they say it's like tripled in value since they bought it. And she's going to take off. Watch. We're about to see something huge go down. I feel that way. My friend made that excellent point. Do y'all think that's what's going to happen? She's going to sell this house, take all of that money, and kick him to the curb. She's tired of him moping around. I don't know. I think after that memoir comes out and she does her major damage is when she'll take flight. I really do. I'd like to know your opinions. Let me know what you're thinking. What does she know about the uncle? And do you think that she's going to take that money and run? I do. Thank you for spending time with me. I appreciate you being here. I'll see you soon and we'll talk fast. Y'all stay safe and be blessed. And I love you.